Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. These crochet star stitch coasters are easy and quick to make. I'll show you how to crochet them in this video. They are made with three rounds of double crochet stitches and then the star stitch along the edges. To do this, I'm using about 50 yards of 100% cotton yarn and either a G or H hook to begin. I'm starting with a slip knot on my hook and then I'm making a chain four. I'll slip stitch to the first stitch to form a ring. I'm only making a chain two since we won't count this as a stitch. In the ring, make 12 double crochet stitches. Again, we're going to skip over that chain two in a bit, so we need to make the full 12 double crochet stitches. Once the 12 stitches are made, skip over that chain two and instead make a slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch. For the second round, make a chain two again. This time, on this round, we're going to make two double crochet stitches in each stitch around. So make two double crochet stitches in each of the 12 double crochet stitches from the round below it. If all goes well, you will have a total of 24 double crochet stitches once you are finished with this round. Once I've completed my 24 double crochet stitches, I'll do what I did before and skip over that initial chain two and instead slip stitch into the very first double crochet of round two. For round three, I'll start with the chain two again. This time, the pattern on round three is two double crochet stitches in the first stitch, followed by one double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'll repeat, two double crochet stitches in the next stitch, followed by just one double crochet in the next stitch. Continue with this pattern around. If all goes well, you should have 36 double crochet stitches once completed. Slip stitch to the first double crochet stitch going over that initial chain two again. Now that our three rounds of double crochet stitches are completed, we need to put on the star stitch border and then make a single crochet stitch in any of the stitches from round three. And then for just this first star stitch, we'll make a chain three. Now we're going to draw up five loops. The first one is in the second chain from the hook. Loop two is in the third chain from the hook. Loop three is in the side of the single crochet stitch. Loop four is in the base of the single crochet stitch. And loop five is in the next stitch over. Yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook. And then make a chain two to hold everything in place. You can see what the first star stitch looks like thus far. Now we're going to make our second star stitch. We're going to draw up five loops like this. Draw up one in the second chain from the hook, the next one in the eye of the star stitch, the third one in the side of the star stitch, the fourth one in the base of the star stitch, and the fifth one in the next stitch over. Yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook, and then make a chain two to hold everything in place as well as prepare yourself for the next star stitch. Going forward, you'll repeat the process of the second star stitch that we just made, You'll go in the second chain, the eye of the star, the side of the star, the base of the star, and then the next stitch over. Yarn over and draw through all loops on your hook, then follow that with a chain two. Continue this process around the circle. When you make the last star stitch, it's not really easy to connect it with crochet, so we'll just fasten off our yarn like this, and then take a yarn needle and sew the last star stitch to the first star stitch with just a stitch or two to hold everything in place. Fasten off and weave in all ends. You can see what the coaster looks like once completed. And that's how I crochet a star stitch coaster.